Olivia and the Fairy Princesses, written and illustrated by Ian Faulkner. Olivia was depressed. I think I'm having an identity crisis, she told her parents. I don't know what I should be. Well, said her father, you'll always be my little princess. That's the problem, said Olivia. All the girls want to be princesses. At Pippa's birthday party, they were all dressed in big pink ruffly skirts with sparkles and little crowns and sparkly wands, including some of the boys. I chose a simple French sailor shirt, matador pants, black flats, a strand of pearls, sunglasses, a red bag, and my gardening hat. Why is it always a pink princess? Why not an Indian princess, or a princess from Thailand, or an African princess, or a princess from China? There are alternatives. For the school dance recital, everyone was trying out for the fairy princess ballerina, even a couple of the boys. But Olivia, said her mother, I seem to remember last year you wanting to be a ballerina. That was when I was little. I'm trying to develop a more stark, modern style. Olivia, it's time for your bath, said her mother. And on Halloween, said Olivia, what did all the girls go as? Princesses? Princesses! I went as a warthog. It was very effective. If everyone's a princess, then princesses aren't special anymore, said Olivia. Why do they all want to be the same? After her bath, Olivia's mother read her a story. It was about a beautiful maiden who was locked in a tower by an evil queen. When a prince came along, rescued her, and made her his, not his princess, cried Olivia. Help! Fine, said her mother who was tiring of this discussion. I'll read you the story of the little match girl. Once there was a little girl who was forced to sell matches barefoot in the snow. The matches kept her warm for a while, but all too soon they ran out. Oh, mommy, that's so sad, said Olivia, tearing up. I may not want to be a princess, but I wouldn't want to be freezing in the snow. Her mother said, well, I want you to be asleep in five minutes. But first, read me the story about Little Red Riding Hood. No, Olivia, it's bedtime. Just the parts where everyone gets eaten, please. No, I'm turning out the light. Olivia lay in the dark trying to sleep, but her brain wouldn't let her. Maybe I could be a nurse and devote myself to the sick and the elderly. I could use my brothers to practice bandaging and various other treatments. Or maybe adopt orphans from all over the world. Or I could be a reporter and expose corporate malfeasance. Hmm. Then it occurred to her. I know. 
I want to be queen.